In this video, we're going to find the volume and surface area of a cone. The formula we use for the volume of a cone is one-third times pi times the radius squared times the height. When we say height of a cone, we mean from the top to the bottom straight through the cone meeting at a right angle. Of course, the radius is from the center to the edge. When we want the surface area of a cone, we'll use the formula pi times the radius squared plus pi r s. And what s stands for is the slanted height, the diagonal line going from the outside of the circle to the peak. Let's take a look at some examples where we find the volume and surface area of a cone. We want to know how much ice cream can fit into a cone. So we might draw a little cone here. It's 5 centimeters tall. And that's just, when we just say tall, we mean straight from the center down and 3 centimeters wide. We want to fill it with ice cream, so we're talking about volume. That formula was 1 third pi times the radius squared times height. We need the radius, then. The radius from the center to the outside is half of 3, or 1.5 centimeters. So plugging this all into our formula, 1 third pi, which is always 3.14, times the radius, 1.5 centimeters, squared, times the height. Oops, my number disappeared. It was 5 centimeters tall, times 5 centimeters. And we end up with an order of operations problem we can solve to find the volume. Order of operations says to do exponents first, so we have 1 third times 3.14 times 1.5 squared is 2.25 square centimeters times 5 centimeters. Since this is all multiplication and division, we can finish by going across 1 third, or 1 divided by 3, times 3.14, times 2.25, times 5, we get our final volume of 11.775 centimeters cubed. We had 2 and 1 more, gives us centimeters cubed. Let's try another example. Here, we're asked to find the surface area of this cone. Again, the formula for surface area was pi r squared plus pi r s, where s is that slanting height from the peak to the edge of the circle. We're told that the entire distance from top to bottom of this cone on the circle is 2 feet, which means the radius, just half of it, is going to be half of 2, or 1 foot. 25 is that slanting height, so that's our s. And let's plug in and see what we have. Pi is 3.14 times the radius, which is 1 foot squared, plus pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, again, it's 1 foot, times s, the slanting height of 25 feet. And again, it's order of operations, where we do the exponent first. 3.14 times 1 squared is 1 square foot, and there's no exponents in the second part, 3.14 times 1 foot times 25 feet. Let's use our calculator to help us with the multiplication step. 3.14 times 1 is 3.14 square feet, plus 3.14 times the 25 feet is 78.5 square feet. And finally, adding the two together, we end up with 81.64 square feet for the surface area, the amount of material to cover this cone. Again, surface area covers the shape, volume fills the shape, and we just have to identify the shape we're working with and the correct formula for volume or surface area plug in what we know, and use the order of operations to simplify our equation.